Welcome to Optimization by Oliver number 43 and we've got a real amazing optimization for you today. Battlebox sells survival and outdoor gear on subscription but they are leaving hundreds of thousands of dollars per year on the table and I'm about to show you exactly how they can grab all that money from their consumers. So let's start first and foremost with the cart. So these guys actually use a modal for their cart, which is really poor experience for the user. I suggest they switch to a cart slider or cart draw. It's a better overall experience. And we're gonna start with point number one, and that's adding a free shipping threshold prompt. Okay, so this really gamifies the cart. It means that people see that they can qualify for free shipping if they spend a little bit more, and then they're more likely to actually add that in-cart upsell to their order therefore you get an increased average order value point number two is we've simplified and got rid of all of these upsell options when you start giving people multiple options that's when they actually start not picking any so we've just gone with one solid option and we've then allowed really a crucial real estate within that cart to add better conversion design principles Speaking of which, point number three, we have added some social proof within the cart, okay? This actually gives us a little bit of real estate within the cart to further enhance that social proof. Therefore, it makes me desire the product because someone else is saying how good it is. And point number four, we have added a full whip check out now button or call to action we've used a color that stands out against all the rest if you look at the previous design the checkout button is hidden up the top you can't really see it it's not naturally where it would be and also it clashes with those other add to cart buttons therefore causing confusion and friction and therefore not many people are going to click and get through to your checkout moving on to page optimization number two and we've taken their product page and really enhanced it for maximizing conversion rates Point number one is we've added our famous trust policy bar. This is just a great little notice bar where you can establish trust and authority by showing things like your satisfaction guarantee and money back guarantees. Point number two is we've used a more friendly image layout. You'll see on the before, you've got this huge, huge image that doesn't actually showcase first and foremost what the product does, but it takes up so much real estate that it pushes that all important information down below the fold. We've used thumbnails and chevrons to give a better experience, and we've selected a image that actually showcases the product in use. Number three is we've added some all important social proof. Come on guys, we need to always be using social proof. As you can see on the before, there is zero social proof. So just by having those stars and that happy customer rating, we've all automatically ticked that box. Number four is we've moved the price above the fold. People shouldn't have to scroll and go looking for a price. Most of these decisions are based on intent. So we show them the price and therefore they can make a quick decision if they feel like it's worth the money. Number five is we've changed the boring, horrible paragraphs, long form descriptions into benefit driven bullet points. This just gives us a real visual and scannable way to get across the quality of the product and therefore pre-sell it before we ask people to add the cart. And number six, we've added that all important call to action above the fold. We've made it a larger button. We've used the word now with a directional cue on the button and we've used the same color as we used in that cart slider. It's important to have that continuity across your buttons, making them all the same and making that journey to the checkout as smooth as possible. Okay, moving on to the all important collection page and guys do not underestimate or undervalue the uplift you guys can have in revenue by optimizing your collection pages. This test alone will literally add thousands to Battlebox every single year. And we start with point number one is we have optimized the layout above the fold. If you look at the before, they have this huge image that serves zero purpose. It pushes all the important collection and all the important information below the fold. They then have this best seller's title with a huge description. I'm on a collection page. I want to see the products and I can't see any. Point number two is we've added social proof. Quite simply, why wouldn't you have it on your collection page? Point number three, we've added sort by and filters at the top of that collection. You wanna make these options as obvious and as simple as possible for users to actually sort by or select the filters that they want. Therefore, they're getting quicker to the products that they actually want to purchase. 
And number four, arguably the most important change on this collection page, doing this on one of our optimized client stores last month, actually added an additional $60,000 in monthly revenue to them. But we have condensed those product cards. We've used a two by two layout. We've pulled them above the fold. You can now see four products in the after design as opposed to zero in the before design. As I said, collection pages are there for that purpose. We want to see the collection of products. Always, always put your best selling products at the top and this will literally print you guys money. Speaking of making money, if you guys would like us at ConversionWise to optimize your e-com stores, then get in touch with us using the link below and make sure you check out the channel for more optimizations by Oliver and loads more CRO tips and content. I'll see you in the next video.